After seeing Wolfie's video introducing the Equinox Challenge, I decided I'd like to actually produce a video that lets people feel like they're there and they can make the measurements. I picked a place that's right on Lake Pontchartrain. I figured that's the largest body of water here and was my best shot for seeing the sun at the horizon. Now, this is right next to the transmission lines and I needed a transmission tower that was in the same latitude so I started in the tall foreground tower and I counted out 10 towers so I could easily find it the next day. You'll see the latitude here and my site location has the same latitude. Let's take a look at that in SunCalc. Now there's something interesting here that I only noticed after the fact, but turns out to be very important, and that is at sunrise, the azimuth is predicted to be 89.22 degrees. I had a difficult time actually proving my time, date, and location, but in the end I got the information I needed. It's September the 22nd, 2017, September at Equinox, about one minute to go time. It looks like we're not going to get the sun on the horizon, but I'm going to make an argument that you can see the crepuscular rays which point to right where the sun is. So I'm going to go ahead and start the P900. I am at Fresner Landing, just east of, oh, there it is. So I am just east of uh, Laplace, Louisiana. This is the restaurant that's right there, right next to it. Here's my surroundings. And going on here. Looks like my alignment is a little bit off. You see P900 in there? Okay. Uh, let's get our time. Google, what's my time and date? Uh, let's try that again. Google, what's my time and date? Okay, Google's not playing nice with me. Here's a third party app. There's my time, 6.52. There's the date, September 22nd. There's the newspaper, September 22nd. And my alignment was supposed to be on that tower, transmission line tower. I based it on the latitude of that transmission line tower now, and it looks like my alignment is slightly off for some reason. So, set up. setup fail. But let's go ahead and line up with this camera. And get the GPS status this location. Focus for me. Let me set it down so it can focus. Alright, here's my coordinates. went a lot smoother in my head but um, the tower is in line now and I'm gonna go man the P900 and just let this run show you my original site location which 
I don't quite understand. It looked like it did line up ultimately with the P900. So I don't, I'm not quite sure what happened exactly. Slightly off in one of the coordinates, latitude or something, probably from the transmission line. I'm going to focus. Okay, so I've got this rig set up to record both the altitude and the azimuth. Uh, so it might not be perfect, but it'll be within a degree or two, you know, it'll be all right. And um, we'll go from there. Let's see what happens. Again, this is my newspaper from today. Oh, this thing will focus right now. Here's the newspaper from today. Friday. September 22nd. Let's try Google one more time. Google, what's my time and day? It is 6.58 a.m. the 22nd of September 2017. There you go. All right, I'm going to stop this video and um, I'll basically create a playlist with all these videos. But this is going to be my submission for the Equinox Challenge. And I'll have to, uh, after the fact, process and get a really good uh, GPS location of this and try and get a really good GPS location of the transmission line because that's what I was basing it off of and uh, trying to figure out why I was off by half a degree or whatever it was other than it's just really hard to line up all right thanks guys that's it for video we have time lapse now And here are the observations. There's enough data in these observations that if you were inclined to do so, you could graph the route of the sun from sunrise until solar noon. Be sure to check the description for links to the 360 videos. One minute until solar noon. I'm gonna make some last tweaks to get the, uh, get the sun right in the middle. The viewfinder.
reminder on the stats here. We're at uh, 30 degrees north, 90 degrees west. And you can see that dial is right on the money. Oh, the sun's a little off here. Tweak that. All right, solar noon in 15 seconds. This will be my last tweak. And then we'll look at all the gauges. All right, there we go. Let's see what I got. This is my altitude reading here. Started at 90. Now it looks like we're on 30-ish, 31. Yeah. There you go. And our azimuth is 180. Spot on. Thanks for joining me on the Equinox, guys. One last spin around the rig and I'm gonna shut it down. It's been a long day, but definitely worth it. A lot of fun stuff. Again, I'm at uh, the Frontier Landing. Equinox. Here's the advocate from today. There's my orange line for due east. It's lined up with the transmission line that's out there. I think you can actually see it even in this video. Thanks for joining me, guys.